Hello everyone, welcome to KPCS UPSC Universe. I am Saujanya, Faculty of Current Affairs and in this video we are going to discuss one important article of today. So let us have a look at the article. So it is Center Defense NFHS Questionnaire says disability data won't change fast. So the source for this particular article it is The Hindu page 12 and now why is it in news? So, disability data, it will not change very fast and there is no reason to collect this data every three years and this was said by our health ministry. So, this was said by our health ministry that disability data that will not change fast, so there is no reason to collect it every three years. So, this was in response to criticism over the exclusion of disability related questions in the sixth round of National Family Health Survey 6. So, this is set to begin shortly. So, here one important topic is National Family and Health Survey. So, this National Family Health Survey round 6, so this is going to begin shortly. So, this round is also important for us from examination point of view. So, you have to remember which round is the latest one, that is our 6th round is the latest one. Right. So, in this particular 6th round of our NFHS disability related questions, they were excluded. So, because of the exclusion of disability related questions in NFHS sixth round which is set to begin shortly, there was widespread criticism over this particular decision and because of this criticism, our health ministry has given a clarification that disability data it will not change fast. So, there is no need of collecting this data every three years. So, this is why it is in news today. So, coming to our syllabus relevance, in terms of prelims, it is our current events of national importance and then policies of the government. So, policies and schemes of government, it is very important for us, especially from UPSC prelims point of view, right. So, many a times questions have been asked on various schemes and policies of the government. So, this definitely becomes important for us from prelims point of view. So, we will look at it why the survey is important in terms of policy of the government because only when we have the data, the ground data, only then the government can go forward with the policy like which type of policy it has to bring so that it will meet the needs of the people. So, surveys are very important and coming to our mains, general studies paper 2, governance social justice, issues relating to development and manage management of social sector and services relating to health education and human resources. So, it basically comes under our GS paper 2. So, this is our main syllabus and prelim syllabus. Coming to the important concepts in today's article, one is our national family health survey NFHS and the second one is national sample survey office NSSO. So, do not get confused between these two. We will discuss about these two NFHS and NSSO in this particular video. So, coming to our today's prelims practice question. So, every day we will discuss about this prelims practice question. So, based on our article today, here is a question that we have. Right. So, the question is regarding our NFHS. International Institute for Population Sciences that is IIPS which is located in Mumbai. It is the nodal agency that is responsible for providing coordination and technical guidance for National Family Health Survey. So, this particular survey, we will discuss about this NFHS. So, this for the conduct of this particular survey, the coordination, whatever coordination is needed, whatever technical guidance is needed, that is provided by our IIPS Mumbai. So, this is our first statement. So, coming to our second statement, NFHS and NSSO, both of them comes under the purview of Ministry of health and family welfare. So, this is our second statement. So, here you have to identify the correct statement. So, you have to be always careful whether the question is asking correct statement or incorrect statement. So, here the correct answer is A because NFHS and NSSO both of them they do not come under our ministry of health and family welfare. NFHS is under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and NSSO, National Sample Survey Organization, it is under our Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. So, we will discuss in detail about these two. So, do remember that International Institute for Population Sciences, it is located in Mumbai. So, it will provide all the technical su uh, support that is needed and also the coordination that is needed for our National Family Health Survey. 
right and as i have told you before this nsso recently that is in the year 2019 we had a merger of nsso with cso that is national sample survey organization it was merged with central statistics office and it has become nso that is national statistics office so this was done in 2019 and now it is under our ministry of statistics and program implementation so do remember this so this is also one more important point that you have to remember the year in which it was merged and what are merged and to what it has given birth so based on our fifth report of nfhs which is the latest report that we have because sixth it is to begin shortly so till now we have five reports according to the fifth report it was observed that disability prevalence was only 1% in rural areas so if we look at our rural areas disability it is only 1% and if our urban areas it is 0.9% so this data is according to our nfhs if we look at the data according to nsso for the year 2018 it showed 2.3% for rural areas and 2% for urban areas so in today's article one more point that is highlighted is there is a uh, difference in the data that is given by our nfhs and the nsso right so coming to a detailed explanation of important concepts as we have seen today we have two important concepts that is nfhs and nsso so coming to our first topic of nfhs national family health survey it is a large scale multi round survey conducted in a representative sample of households throughout india so this national family health survey this is conducted overall that is entire india entire our country this particular survey is conducted so it is a multi round survey it's a large scale survey that is conducted so our first survey it was conducted back in 1992 1993 and as we have seen till now we have five rounds of nfhs and sixth round it is to begin shortly so first round was in 1992 to 93 so what does this particular nfhs concentrate upon so it provides the data that is state and national information for india on fertility infant and child mortality practice of family planning maternal and child health reproductive health nutrition anemia utilization and quality of health and family planning services so broadly these are the things that are covered under national family health survey so broadly what you can remember is in an overall view national family health survey it majorly concentrates upon maternal and child health so whenever you get national family health survey one point that has to come to your mind is it concentrates upon child and maternal health right and in detail these are the concepts that are covered under national family health survey and overall in a broad view it is regarding our maternal and child health so the major concentration of national family health survey it is maternal and child health so each successive round of nfhs it had two specific goals so one is to provide the data on family and health welfare needed by the ministry of health and family welfare because as we have discussed earlier only when we have the proper data right so proper ground data what is the situation of for example about the fertility about infant mortality about family planning about maternal health etc only when there is a particular data regarding these things government can move forward with the policies right so especially in this regard our ministry of health and family welfare and other agencies they will plan their policies and schemes of the government based on the data that we have so that data is provided by our national family health survey so that is one major goal and coming to our second goal it will provide important emerging health and family welfare issues right so one is the data regarding these concepts and the second one is regarding emerging health and family welfare issues so as time uh, proceeds we will have various kinds of health and family uh, related issues so what are the emerging issues so we have to be updated with these issues only then government can move forward with the policies so this data is also provided by our nfhs right and as we have seen our indian In international institute for population sciences iips mumbai this is the nodal agency and this was de designated as a nodal agency by our ministry of health and family welfare 
right so do remember these details about our ministry of health and family welfare's M- uh, national family health survey so our second concept for today is national sample survey office nsso so this was created back in 1950 so the year is also important try to remember the year is 1950 so its headquarters are in faridabad so questions can be definitely asked on these details also and as far as our nsso is concerned it has four major divisions right so these four major divisions they'll perform four different functions so we'll look at these so this nsso it is headed by a director general and it is responsible for the conduct of large scale sample surveys in diverse fields on a all india basis so both nfhs and nsso they'll conduct all over india surveys conducted all over india right so primarily the data it is basically on various socio economic subjects and annual survey of industries etc so it will also conduct collect the data on rural and urban prices right how they play a significant role in the improvement of crop statistics etc so you have to remember what are the concepts that are covered under national family health survey and also under our nsso right so it also maintains a frame of urban area units for use in sample surveys in urban areas and as we have seen it has four divisions so our first division is survey design and research division so it is located at kolkata and then we have field operations division which is headquartered at faridabad and then we have data processing division and this is also headquartered at kolkata and survey coordination division this is located at new delhi right so initially this nsso it had a particular scope of work which included data collection from rural areas for national accounts so later there was a change so what happened after that its operations it, it they were expanded to urban areas as well so first of all nsso it was created for data regarding our rural areas and then it was expanded to urban areas too right so gradually it began working to collect data and coming to their work as we have seen it has four major divisions and our nsso it became nso in 2019 so we have already discussed this particular thing also national sample survey office it was merged with the central statistics office and it has become national statistics office back in the year 2019 so this was a merger that has happened right so you have to remember this merger you have to remember nso nsso and cso and also the year that is 2019 right so central government it has approved this particular merger back in 2019 so do remember these details regarding the merger of nsso and nso cso to become nso right so this is working right now under our ministry of statistics and program implementation so as far as national family health survey is concerned it is under our ministry of health and family welfare right and as far as this national statistics office is concerned it is under ministry of statistics and program implementation so the ministries are also important for us from examination point of view so these are the details that you have to remember regarding this particular article so hope you have liked this video thank you